It's always good to see you, man. You're ready to go to a wedding right here. You bet. I dressed today purposely to show that you don't have to always be in a tuxedo or a suit to go to someone's wedding. We're breaking down three options with the guys, and we're going to bring the first one right out uh, for summer, wedding season, different types of looks, textures, details. Yeah, so um, a lot of people uh, will take the business suit that they use year-round, uh, which is a heavy wool suit or a wool suit, and go to a 30-degree weather uh, wedding. And what I'm encouraging, or what we're encouraging people to do, is go to an alternative fabric, go to a cotton. And this suit here is by Z Zenya. It's called the Drop 8. The fit of this, very, very cool fit. A little bit trimmer, a little closer to the body, but it's super light. So imagine that you're at a wedding and it's cooking hot outside and you're, you're, you're sweltering in your wool suit, you could be wearing a beautiful cotton suit that's nice and light and cool and comfortable. This is good and uh, Brian, if you can get in on the detail of the pocket square, I love the added touch here, but when we talk about materials, I've seen this at the destination wedding, the, uh, even without the suit jacket, people are sweating right through. What, what is the best if you're even going to go without a jacket? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, linens and cottons and lightweight cottons are the, are the way to go. Um, you know, try to go to something that, that has, uh, you know, uh, uh, colorful flow to it, you know, like shades that are colorful and summery, and a lot of those colors are made in linens and lightweight cottons. So I'd recommend that. Pocket squares, accessories, those are also things that you should uh, complement your cotton suit with too as well. At the boutonniere, like that touch. Thank you very much. The next one, we were just looking at the clip with Gary Oldman, the Gary Oldman bow tie right yeah. here. <laughs> so, so there's always someone who comes to the wedding who wants to remain the coolest guy in the room, and this Dolce suit fits that bill perfectly. Trim cut, slim. Um, if you, if you, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's a very subtle sort of sh a snake skin pattern running through it. So if you want to be the coolest guy at the wedding, get a bow tie. Self tying bow tie is the way to go. So learn how to tie a bow tie. It takes you, I don't know, a couple of months, but uh, <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> you no, know, it doesn't take that long. But you can go on our website, and there's a, a tutorial that shows you how to tie a bow tie. And there's nothing cooler than being able to tie your own bow tie. Is it okay as a wedding guest to wear the bow tie to kind of uh, so you're not upstage in the groove? Oh yeah, bow for sure. Right? Oh yeah, no question. I mean, uh, I think bow ties have become or are starting to become the norm in an everyday business situation. So going to a wedding with a bow tie just it just adds a bit of spice. Two great examples of suits thank you very much now the other question is if you don't want to go suit and wear maybe a sports jacket and then funk things up here uh, what are the options right well today I purposely wore this outfit to show you that you know uh, this is a navy blazer I'm wearing it's a cotton navy blazer double breasted too. double breasted right that's uh, uh, something for the future to talk about in the next show but um, Brunello Cuccinelli uh, does a fabulous job of linen and cotton blended sports jackets and there's a bit of a pattern running through it but sports jackets can be dressed up to look just as formal as your you know, typical suit. Uh, as long as you do the accessories properly, you know, the pocket square, the boutonniere, jazz it up, and then a light colored pair of pants for summer too as well. When we look at all of these staples, and let's bring in uh, all of the gentlemen right here, if somebody's looking and thinking, okay, I got a bunch of weddings to go to this summer, what's yeah. the one staple that they should invest in and color to build out the wardrobe? Okay, so the, so the first thing, if you're not going to invest in a new sports jacket or suit or whatever, go out and buy yourself some accessories. You know, if you come to Harry Rosen, we have these boutonnieres, we have the pocket square, we have cool ties, bow ties. So bring your suit in with you and say, I got to go to a wedding jazz this one up. That's probably the most important advice I can give anyone right now. Um, outside of that, color. Like, wear something that's got a bit of a pop of color. Step out of what you typically wear Monday through Friday. Like it. Gentlemen, great job today. Harry Rosen, uh, dot com for all of the details. Uh, always do a great job. And now that you've worn the white pants, they're coming out. You bet. All right. We'll <laughs>